to show uh, how to use APE to translate uh, the open reading frame of each MSH2 of uh, a sequences. So go to your Moodle site, download the sequence, and you have to know where the sequence is located. Uh, well in my case, it should go to my download folder. So my download for yeah that's my uh, download sequence so <coughs> sometimes in uh, if you the first time you are using this uh, the sequence may not be associated with APE directly and then you have to use open with to find the software to open it in my case it is already associated if it's not you on, on Mac you have to uh, uh, change the file association and for example in my case you go to the get information and then there's an option say open with and you change that to the APE and then there's also an option to change all if you click change all then all the dot sequence file will be associated with APE and then you that's just uh, once for all all the file will be associated okay in my case I'm going to double click on this and then open with APE uh, okay so here is the open reading frame uh, the open reading frame means is uh, this entire frame going to be translated into a, a peptide or protein. So very often that has to start with ATG. Uh, in our case, this one also ended with TAA. That's one of the three stop codon. Um, but sometimes it doesn't have a stop codon because uh, some people doesn't like to put stop codon in protein sequence in in uh, coding sequences. But in our case, it has so. We can select all. Uh, well, uh, let me see. Select all, and then we go to the ORF uh, translate. Okay. So then you have a uh, choice. So you can select everything or tr select uh, select selection. In our case, it doesn't make any differences since I select everything already. We can also choose select all. And then you can choose the code, that's for a uh, protein or amino acid representation. You can have a one letter representation or three letter representation. And just for the sake of the demonstration, let's choose three letter representation. And there's no code on spacing, and the line width, instead of 20, let's also make it, uh, say, 100. And then uh, click OK. Right, so there. Yeah. That's the translated uh, protein amino uh, protein sequences. So its first one is methionine. So that's methionine. Well, once I click on that, it actually highlighted the uh, highlighted the position here. That's the ATG. If I click on proline, uh, the yeah, it also highlighted proline here. It didn't highlight the codon, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do a different one. This, this time I'm going to translate it into. I'm going to select all and translate using a one letter. The one letter is more e more easy to uh, manipulate. Okay, so this time if I click uh, say D. Uh, the show up D. Yeah, now it shows the code uh, GTC. That's the. If I click M, that's the. Oh, there's the M here. That's another H E G. Right. So, so basically, uh, the this entire operating frame has been translated in a peptide, and this is the uh, 964 amino acid. It's at <coughs> at the very end, there's a star. That's the stop code. Now you can verify this. So the entire length of the sequence is 2895 nucleotide, and it's translated into 964 amino acid. And so if we time that as a three, that should be the sequences. Right? So <coughs> in essence, we have a, right, so 964 amino acid plus one stop codon, that's 965. So 965 times three, if you use a calculator, that should, that should be 2895. Right? Each amino acid is the three nucleotide. That's how the uh, uh, genetic codon is uh, defined. Right? So <coughs> Okay, so that's the uh, 